Hi all, in this video I am going to show you guys a tutorial to create an effect in DaVinci Resolve which will allow you to convert your horizontal video into vertical one. This video is going to be a generalized one so that you can follow this tutorial to create this effect for every type of horizontal video that you like. So let's jump into this uh, tutorial. This is going to be the final node structure and if you look closely you can see that most of them are duplicates. So the base node structure is going to be like this. So if we can create this then we only need to duplicate the things and need to adjust the parameters so we can get the final output. So let's jump into this uh, tutorial. Open your media in fusion page then first we need to convert the resolution to vertical one. So for this create a background node we will name it resolution converter make it transparent by changing the alpha value then from the image section untick auto resolution and change the resolution to vertical one then add a merge node we will name it resolution merge and connect this background node to the background of this resolution merge node then on the foreground connect your media in now the resolution is controlled by the background node we created. Now to adjust the resolution of the clip to fit to this vertical resolution add a transform node after media in node and increase the size value or if you want you can directly increase the size from the merge node itself but by having this transform node you know what you are doing when you look at the node structure very easily. After this we finally got our vertical video. This video style is like a full cover up style. If you don't want a full cover up style, we can create another background style like this. To create a style like this, add a blur node after the media in node and change the blur value to how much you need. Then connect this blur node to the foreground of the resolution merge node. Then using the size control in this resolution merge node, increase the size so that it fill up the space. Then create a new merge node which will be named as background merge and connect the resolution merge to the background of this background merge. Then add a new transform node to media in node and connect this transform to the foreground of this background merge node. And control the size of transform node to control the size of the video or you can directly control the size from the merge node itself removing that transform node. Choose the one you like. So now this entire node structure is our background and now to create the overlays add a new brightness contrast node this will act as a duplicate for the media in so we can cut out the parts from the media in to show it to our final output in the brightness node enable alpha and take the gain to zero then add a polygon mask to this brightness node invert the mask and by using the mask cut out the part you like for the overlay. Thing to notice that on the polygon mask disable shape animation as we don't really need that and it may cause issue if you accidentally move the handle while masking. So mask the thing out then add a new transform node after the brightness contrast node and by controlling the transform node we can control this new overlay that we created. Now add a new merge node we will name it overlay 1 and connect the transform to foreground and connect the background merge node to the background of this new merge node. Now our overlay is completed. To create new overlay we need to duplicate the node. The nodes we need to duplicate is mask node, brightness and contrast node, transform node and the overlay one merge node. Just copy all this node and paste it. Thing to notice that for the brightness node you need to connect the background merge node as the input and for the background of the overlay merge node it will be the last overlay merge node. Now we can adjust the mask so that we will get the new overlay. Now you can create as much overlay as you want and if you want to move all the overlay you created from a single transform node we can do that by using single expression. For this create two transform node one will be controller other will be chain. 
Select the chain transform node and pin it to the inspector. Now on the chain node, enable expression on all the parameters that you like to change from a single transform node. For me, it's going to be center and the size control. So select the parameters, right click, choose expression. After that, select the controller node. Then connect the plus sign to the parameter of the controller node. After connecting the parameters, place the chain node after the transform node on our overlay structure and connect the controller to any output you like. Make sure that output of this controller node is not connected to any other node. We are connecting this controller node so that we know where this controller node is when we are just inspecting the node structure. So after creating the entire overlay you needed, next step is to convert this fusion into FX. For this, select all the node except for the media in and media out node. Thing to note is that the way you select the node is very important, otherwise you won't get the desired effect. So don't select it by one by one. First place both media in and media out to the edges of the node panel. Then select the entire node structure from media in or media out section. Then right click on any node and choose create macro. On the name, type the name you want for the effect. Then from the dialog, it will show all the nodes that you selected with all their parameters. And if you tick the export box, that parameter can be changed from the edit tab. So tick the ones you like to change from the edit page like the parameters of the controller node. After ticking all the export box that you like, select file, save as group and save the file. We are saving it as group because if we save it as macro, then all the nodes will be compressed to a single node such that we can't really edit individual nodes after saving this. So always save the nodes as group. Now on fusion, effect section template section three dot select show folder on there if there is no edit folder create a new folder called edit and inside the folder create a new folder called effects and inside the effect folder paste the group file that you created if you want to organize it to a category create a new folder inside the effect folder with category name and paste the file inside that folder. Now after restarting DaVinci, you can add the effect from the edit tab effect section. After adding the effect, if you are finding your video like this, it is because of the scaling settings. Change the scaling option from the inspector tab, retime and scaling, scaling option to feed. Now your video will be back to normal. And if you are trying to add this effect on a vertical resolution timeline, then you can't directly add the effect from edit tab as you won't get the desired output. You need to open the clip in fusion then add the effect. So that's it. That's all about this video guys. I hope you guys find this video useful. If you do so, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.